doing earthlings, wobbly cam time. Right, amazingly this is part 11 of my space shuttle restoration, here you are. <coughs> Maybe I should have the camera here actually. Um, why is it so wonky? So nearly a minute into this, I haven't said anything yet. But right, I just wanted to show you my progress so far on my what was a uh, warped and completely um, out of shape space shuttle is now becoming something that looks like a Moonraker orbiter with its boosters and. Um, fuel tank. Um, <coughs> I mask, first of all I masked off, well I, I had to seal the white with some semi-gloss, um, just a mixture of matte and gloss Mod Podge to seal the paint because I'll get my dirty fingers all over it otherwise in the matte finish and also I need to, needed to um, just wanted to uh, spray this. I masked out this and sprayed the black, sort of an off, off black colour. So I'm already getting mucky bits on it. I don't know. It seems to be impossible to keep it clean. And then I masked out the windows area and done that and these two black areas here. And they're supposed to be a lot blacker than this, but they didn't really come out. I think this is too dark and this wasn't black enough so I just used a sharpie marker to uh, highlight those bits but I'm really pleased with how the windows came out then I just used a bit of um, semi gloss mod podge to shine up the windows a little bit you can see that very slightly in the, the main glit properly kind of and then I masked out these two grey areas and they were too dark so I had to go over them and get mask them out again and go over them with some lighter grey. And then I realised that I had to sort of start uh, applying decals, the transfers. So I started with these ones up here. Um, I overlapped a little bit and then because they're really old they started to crack up. So they cracked up a bit down here and bit fell, bits fell off. Then I went down with a sharp scalpel blade to cut, to cut the overlap bits off. And that all went a bit wrong as well. And then I, then I went to um, apply these two. This one went okay, perfectly. And this one, because they're really old, it just cracked up. I don't know if you can see that on there. And then I tried to paint in a bit of light, a bit of orange in there to try and mask all the bits that fell off and I couldn't apply again and they rippled and there's a, there's a sort of a ripple up along here and I tried to cut down and flat and flatten down the ripple but that didn't work um, so I'm still gonna have to paint in this bit here and there's a couple there's a couple of tiny crack there now I'm gonna have to go over this orange with a bit of a lighter orange to try and see if I can mask that but I think that well that looks pretty it looks pretty pretty dire but from a distance it looks really quite good <laughs> um, but um, oh, and then I painted this with a this um, back of the engine bay area here with a, a sort of a satin black which which is looks a bit different to the greyish here Then I painted around the engines with some light grey the main main engine nozzles and a bit of a darker grey for the other nozzles here, the smaller orbiter, orbital manoeuvring nozzles. And they came out okay. I freehand painted around here with the same colour as this for the, the tile colour. And that came out okay. And um, so I've still got these 
decals here to uh, apply. I think they go on like that. And they're going to be a right pain in the arse, I, I think, probably. <coughs> um, the Moonraker transfers that go on down here, I think they're too thick and bold, but I'm going to use them anyway. Um, the detail that came with the transfers, all I get is, is these ones here, which aren't really good enough, because there's all sorts of little... Let me just show you a picture of a... Uh, one of the, um, the filming miniature models. And get out my camera. So you can see there's loads of sort of a circle details here. I've got the, the top hatch windows, the emergency exits to do. I've got these ones here to do. I want to do these ones here, there's some little black dots here, um, I want to do them, and also around the um, around the side here, there's some sort of sensor bits that I still need to add as well, but um, I'm going to cross that bridge. When I come to it, also I've got, a, I'm going to, there's a black line that goes around here, for, around the, uh, the flaps and the air brake. I'm going to have a sharpie marker that in because I think that will be the easiest way to do it. Um, so yeah, I've tried to, um, I found some some transfers online and I've tried to print out some and my printer isn't working very well at all. I keep filling up this black ink cartridge. Here you are. Hello. This black ink cartridge pumping loads and loads of ink in it and it just does not want to print. So I keep on having to shake the 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 ink through and then try to print again. I'm trying to do it for my Falcon Girl Princess Leia thing, but I think this is the best I'm going to get. These ones go on the uh, the boosters. I don't I quite know where these ones go. These go on the boosters, but I think I'm probably just going to sharpie marker those, marker those in. These ones I'll probably use, and the door, this one, this door here, I'll probably use, and these ones here maybe. That A, I don't know what that's all about. Probably goes on the uh, on the tank. Um, talking about the tank, here it is. I spent blooming ages scoring these lines down the uh, down this down this um, tank because they don't appear on the um, the Airfix one. And then I. Afterwards, I applied some because I'm, I'm doing a uh, an Airfix Rebel 144 1 to 144 scale build, and I applied some plastic sticks to the outside of my other one that's exactly the same as this. And then I looked at the pictures, my my screenshots of the Moonraker external tank, and it's completely smooth and it's sits bulbous, sits sits uh, proud of the main tank just like this one does so whether I'm going to try and rub sand these off or not I don't know probably not I'm just probably just going to have to leave them but um so that's a right pain in the arse and here are the um so I've, I've painted these white and I've given them a coat with Mod Podge just to try and keep my dirty fingers off them and the um I've put magnets on them these neodymium mag magnets um I had these these uh, struts, these mounting things that that I'd cast out of uh, clear clear cast acrylic resin. There you are, and they kept on snapping because they were so brittle. So I've just taken the ones out of the Revel kit and I've replaced the Revel kit ones with my some spare cold cast clear, clear acrylic resin ones. So these ones shouldn't have snapped because they're nice tough plastic, but these are still the um, the resin ones. But they're two, they're doubled up in thickness, so yeah, so, so they should be okay. And um, actually, because I'm going to have it on the Airfix stand, I've decided, and they actually stay on there quite well. And here's the uh, the other side with its magnets. I've had to expose the magnet as well because yeah, I've still got to do that side. You can tell because I haven't exposed the I've take, haven't taken off the paint off the magnet and and the same on the external tank but they, they, it stays quite 
nice, well, yeah, good enough on there. I quite like models with moving parts and bits that I can move about and take off. And, and also I've got the um, magnet here and uh, look, I've got more crap on the bottom of my model. I actually have a bit of material that I have to lay it on all the time and I haven't got it here at the moment so that's why it's mucking up so badly. I think I've got excess paint stuck in there as well but that does go on there eventually. Um, I think that from being a really bad restoration then something that melted and went on a trip across the room I might I mean I'll have to repaint over there um, then it went flying across the room and broke all the front of it and all, we all fell to pieces then I rebuilt it and then filled all the model I think it's come out pretty well I've got a bit of dodgy filler work here but the, 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 the transfer is going to cover that up hopefully um, <coughs> can still see remnants of the the lines down here but I'm not going to bother with those I'm just going to leave that as it is so there's still quite a lot of detail work to do um, lots of painting still to do and um, yeah I'll show you what it looks like when it's when it's probably finished probably yeah Although I've got, I've got tons and tons of, uh, the, on the model, on the, the filming models and on the film, there's all these, all these panels, they've got all this sort of shading and all of the panels are picked out nicely and I was thinking about, I have done it very slightly on here, but I've scored into the, the black here to bring out some, a couple of the lines of the tiles and there's not a huge amount of lines and but it's just going to be like brickwork. If I decide to start doing it, it means I'm going to have to carry on doing it over everywhere. I've still got the, uh, the, the grey, silvery grey nose to do. And yeah, it's just lots of detail work, really. Try and bring out the detail and try to make it look like the rough and ready all the time. I've got to blacken around the engines here. I've done some thruster black, um, matte black, charcoal black inside the, uh, the nozzles there. I'm going to add, I'm going to sort of uh, do some flame effects, some, you know, some charcoal scoring around the ends of the nozzles there as they appear on the, um, on the, the film. It's quite hard really because on the close-up model they use where they, they actually, James Bond's actually in the shot, um, these they're, they're very, very different. Um, the, the, the back here, for instance, is white on that, that but all, on all the miniatures it's black. So, I'll, I'll, you know, and, um, and some of the film footage, it's, these are a lot lighter, and the, you know, these small orbits and nozzles are a lot lighter, but most of the, most of the shots there are sort of a grey. Um, so it's quite confusing, really, what I should do. So, yeah, I've just got to make up do what I want to do really. Anyway, how long is this video? Nearly a whole 15 minutes of me rambling on and, and moaning and u the usual stuff, but I think it's going in the right direction. It's, um, just, you know, it's just how, what level of detail I'm going to take it to really. It's my, I've got a bit of a dodgy bit of paintwork here corner there, I don't quite know what I'm going to do with that, can you see that, right on the corner there it's sort of, well I've used my masking tape, it's pulled the paint away slightly and I've tried to fill it in with more paint and it hasn't really worked, it's really dodgy work down here and that, but I don't know, I think I'm just going to have to get it to a kind of level that I want and just leave it and be done with it and have it as something that looks quite good from far away. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you are a bit more optimistic and a bit more 
looking to how it's gone so far than I am, but I've just got to persevere. This one, this one's one that I'm spending a bit more time on compared to the other ones, like Revel and Airfix one, because they're up to a point at the moment where I've just got to paint loads and loads of white layers on them until until that's done. I'm not going to be doing many more videos for them, but yeah, lots of dirt. They're, they're really knackered looking shuttles or something. I think the black around the the windows needs a bit of sharpie marker maybe, I don't know yet. But anyway, I hope you like the video. And take care and have a lovely day. Goodbye.